Welcome back to Trading with CJ. Today we are finally doing an update on Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. This is a Mary Jane stock in the cannabis sector. We first spoke about these over two weeks ago now, and they was trading at 76 cents per share. If we look at where they are as of today, they're currently at $2.08 at the time of recording. They went on an incredible run, and they even went up to one point almost $3 per share. They have seen a pullback as of the last few days. Will this carry on? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video, and is it still a buy? And if you already hold shares, should you sell your shares now and cash in on your profits? That's what we're gonna be talking about. We're also gonna be covering why this is selling off, because it has gone on to see a bit of a sell-off, down about 30% uh, from its highs of almost $3. Is this the end of the run for Sundial Grows? If you want to get these picks early, we pick these at 76 cents per share. And like I say, over 200% in just a matter of about a week and a half at that moment in time. If you want to get these ones, join our Discord. It is completely free. We talked about this stock in there as well. And we're also talking about a couple of other cannabis plays that I am in as well. Uh, you can tell that by some of my videos. But yeah, check our Discord out. It is completely free to join. And also, really is appreciated if you can smash the like and subscribe to my channel. So let's get into it. We're talking about Sundial Growers. And I want to say that I'm not a financial advisor, so if you are planning on investing into the stock market, you should always do your own research first. Let's jump into the share price because that is literally what everybody's focused on. Sundial Growers has been storming it. This is in the cannabis sector, the Mary Jane sector, and uh, these stocks are flying as of the last few weeks. People are loving this sector right now. So first off, what is this company? Well, it is a cannabis company. They say we aren't building a company. We are pioneering a new global industry. They have a few different brands, not to include here, Sundial, Top Leaf, Palmetto, and Grasslands. They're four of their brands right there. We've covered this one in a whole stock analysis video. Like I said, you can check that one out. I'll leave that in the link in the description below. Let's jump into their share price and see exactly what's happened over the course of the last month. If we go back to one month ago, at this time of recording, this is currently sitting up over 200% gains. It did hit highs, like I said, of almost $3, 295 And at those highs, that was gains of 330%. So it has dropped down considerably since. The drop from its highs to its current price is around about 30%. So this company was on a run. Why is it selling off? Well, if we go into this right here, analysts have reported that cannabis stocks have run up too far, too fast. And by the close of trading, uh, Sundial stock therefore followed and crashed down following the decline from the previous day as well. I mean, that is no surprise right there. I don't think it's just cannabis stocks. A lot of stocks are flying up just like that, especially penny stocks right now. And this is a penny stock. This was trading at, at that time of when we spoke about it, about 76 cents per share. And in the matter of just over a week, it has gone up to over $2 per share. That is absolutely insane. So I'm not surprised here that this is selling off. People are cashing out. People are taking their profits. This had a massive run up due to the Reddit, Wall Street Bets community as well pumping this sector. Not to mention uh, one of the big catalysts for this, which still remains a catalyst here, is the legalization or the future legalization of weed throughout the US. This was very recent, okay? Schumer hosts first marijuana meeting to formulate 2021 federal legalization plan. This is gonna take time. I don't think this is gonna be a quick thing. Some people think this is gonna happen over the next month or two. I think this is gonna be a long process, okay? They've got to, they wanna legalize weed throughout the US. As we've already spoke about numerous times, some of the US it is legal, some of it is only legal for medical use, and some of it is completely illegal. So uh, gradually this is hopefully gonna, for these stocks anyway, it's hopefully gonna you know, be legalized throughout. Back to the analysts, they say they have warned that the prices of many pot stocks have risen to levels that were not supported by their current sales and profits. Isn't that the same throughout the entire market right now? Nor were they justified by their near-term growth prospects. When Sundial stock price began to pull back, many traders took it as a cue to sell the stock. And that is it. When people see red, people start to panic, especially if they're sitting on, you know, hundreds of percent gains, they're gonna take their shares and take their profits while they can, you know. Sometimes you got, it's not actually, it's not your money until you've cashed it out. So that is literally what's been happening here. We've seen a pullback in this stock. People aren't pumping this sector as much at this moment in time. We've seen a bit of a pullback. The question really remains is, will we keep going on to see this pullback or are you still holding on shares? Did you buy at the top on this one? If you bought when we spoke about, you're always sitting on good gains anyway, so it doesn't matter. If you did buy at the top, you know, you may be thinking to yourself, is it time to sell? It really depends on you know your thoughts on this sector. This is sector is growing for sure. Pardon the pun again. This sector is growing, and over time, you know, I do think that it's going to be a very, very a big industry. However, there are a lot of stocks out there. I own three different stocks in this sector, and I've spoke about all three on my channel before. And uh, this by far is not my favorite one of the bunch. So yeah. 
there's just that to consider, okay? There, there are different uh, stocks in this sector, and you've got to try and pick the best ones, the best financials, the best prospects, the best catalysts, etc. You can check out some of my other ones. I've done a whole uh, top cannabis stocks to buy, etc. as well. You can check some of those out. But yeah, one thing that is great about Sundial is their financials. They really have taken advantage of this huge price run. They've been offering out shares and getting a lot of money from this. They knew that this was pretty much overvalued for sure, and they have been cashing in on this. You can see it, while Sundial's share price could certainly decline uh, in the coming days, as, as you can imagine, concerns regarding the company's financial position can be laid to rest. After a series of share offerings, like we just mentioned, Sundial is now debt free. And better still, the pop producer has boosted its cash reserve to $615 million. This company currently has a market cap now of $3.24 billion, which is absolutely insane. When the company's sales are currently only around about $100 million or just under. They've got $100 million sales and a market cap of $3.2 billion. This is incredible. However, with that being said, they do now have a lot of cash, you know, $615 million dollars sitting on cash there are ready to use and they've got this needs to survive any near-term challenges because there will be near-term challenges you know they said they're almost running out of cash before they managed to get that cash back and yeah sundial clearly has the cash it needs to survive any near-term challenges should the u.s legalize marijuana in the coming years sundial could find itself in a position to aggressively enter this potential massive market which i do believe is true and i do generally think it if you bought this stock at a low price i don't think it's going to get back down to those levels the levels we were seeing about two weeks ago but i do think it has potential to drop a little bit further than where we're currently at but then again you know reddit wall street bets etc and the market right now anything can get pumped you know the, the worst stock out there could get pumped i don't think this is the worst stock however these stocks could get pumped so there is always that to bear in mind the opportunity there for a pump but you can hold this as a long term and i do think it will do very well over time however if you're looking for a quick trade you know i'm not sure if this is the the perfect stock for that there are a lot of great stocks out there for the trade however if you are sitting on gains you know you could always take out your initial investment that you put in to get your money back and then you've got free money sitting in this stock riding it out but that is of course completely up to you because this stock definitely has potential in the long term. Not only that, they have recently uh, the approval for the NASDAQ. We already knew about this. They had it extended by 180 days. Uh, like a few other companies we spoke about, they had to hit the $1 price target for over 10 days. And uh, at the moment, we that was they hit $1 in February the 1st. Okay, we're now on uh, February the 16th. And I really can't see this $2 dropping down to $1 again. So that is good. The NASDAQ listing will be secured. And... They can remain on this Nasdaq until it ever drops to below one dollar again. So that is a really good bonus for this company. Okay, they've got that still got the exposure there to the U.S. U.S. markets, etc. And not to mention, of course, as we've already spoke about, when this does get legalized, if it does get legalized, even more exposure to the U.S. markets. So that's the update there on Sundial Growers. Personally, would I be buying at these prices? It's not for me. I think there's a much better plays in the sector out there uh, with better financials overall. I know they have a lot of cash but they're earning a lot more and they've got more catalysts going forward, not just the fact that the US government, because all of these cannabis sector stocks really do have that. The only real benefit to this one right now, in my opinion, is the fact that it has a lot of cash, but that is really thanks to this pump. But what's to say that there won't be another stock getting pumped in this sector very soon? And I do think there may be one. I have spoke about it a few times. You can check that one out and you can join our Discord because I give all of these away on our Discord, which is completely free. First link in the description. But I am interested to know, are you all holding Sundial Growers? Did you sell out? Have you made some nice gains? Or did you buy at the top? Because it could be a while before it gets back to those levels. But we shall see. Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smash the like. Subscribe to my channel as well. And until next time.